Welcome to Cyber Art. <laughs> Good evening, my pupils. What's up? <laughs> Yo, so what's up? Now, I was looking through my videos, and apparently I did not have a C++ tutorial number 10. I was like, whoa. So what we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your seat, because we are going back in the past. That's right. We are going to make a tutorial for number 10 that's been in the past. What? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But let's go ahead and get down to it. To it. <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead and come over here. And we're going to type in. Oh, yeah, real quick. This is my Yahoo Messenger, Messenger Deluxe at ymail.com. Alrighty. So head on over. Look me up. We can chat 24 7 if you wanted to. Whoopsie. Misa, I forgot about that. Sorry, I was supposed to call somebody, but I forgot. Alrighty, righty, righty. Oops. Come over here. Alrighty, sorry, I had a. I'm on two monitors right now. And, you know, anyways. Let's go and get. Today's tutorial is about arrays. Now, arrays are basically something that is a big bunch of whatever that holds a bunch of values. <laughs> you know? So I'm going to teach you how to make something that holds a bunch of values. Alright. So let's get down to it. First of all, we're going to create an integer array. Meaning it's going to hold whole numbers. Or numbers, if you will. Name it var. And what we're going to do, we're going to put two square brackets. And not a bit. And no semicolon on this one. It's weird. Anyways, we're going to put... No, we're going to put basically three. Now what this does is going to hold three values, right? Now to um, make z value, what we are going to go ahead and do. My friend is harassing me on Yahoo Messenger. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyways, what we're going to do? We're going to create the variable, which is called var, but we're going to make it var. Put the box zero. We're going to set it equal to fifty. That's what this value is equal to. We're going to make another var. Box 1. We're going to set it equal to 100. Then we're going to do it again. Var. Box 2. We're going to set it equal to 100. Or actually 150. Alrighty. That's it. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and break it down like a fraction. As we see here, uh, int var. Now var is a variable name. Basically it's the array. The array's name. And it's actually holding three values. Now C++ counts from zero up. So if you put five arrays you would actually have, uh, it would say four because it would be zero aka one, one aka two, three, yeah. Yeah, 2 aka 3, 3 aka 4, 4 aka 5. So you would start from 0 to 4, and that would be 5. C++ is weird like that, but hey, it does what it does. Alrighty. So now, we're going to come down here, and we're going to type in... Oh, whoa, sorry, I've been playing around in Python. I was trying to type in print. We're going to see out. We're going to put var 0 plus var 2 which would be basically variable number 3 which would be this one ready come over here and L now if we go ahead and try to run this there should be no errors but no I mean there might be we are actually running it now see we're running it right now we're waiting. And we got an error. Whoopsie. We have an error. Okay, now that error basically states that we are jacked up. <laughs> okay, but uh, my bad. I'm trying to see what is my error problem. So basically, it's just saying 
that there is something unexpected before int. That's just a variable. Hmm. Misa has a problem. Ooh, Misa know what it was. I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I lied to y'all. Turns out, we have to add a semicolon. So if you did this without me telling you, good job. If you didn't, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, now we're going to put a semicolon. Now we're going to execute compile and run. We are now compiling. Watch it, star. We're going to come over here. And the program ran, and sure enough, da 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 da. 200. Press any key to continue. Now, why is it 200, are you asking? Simple. Because look, we printed out var 0 plus var 2. Alright, now if y'all paid attention, var 0 is 50, and var 2 is 150. 150 plus 50 is 200. That's a variable. Now, you can have up to 9. Alrighty. But right now, I'm going to put 4. And then, I'm just going to come in here and put var 3. Set it equal to 99. No, no. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. And add an extra 9, shall we? Actually, 0. There you go. Alrighty. Now, we're going to put a semicolon. Enter, make it look pretty. Zero plus var three, and as we all so oh so wonderfully know what's gonna happen, we're gonna compile and run it, and it's gonna equal a weird amount of numbers. Oops, I messed up somewhere. Oh, it's too long of a number. <laughs> okay, well let's just turn it down to ninety nine, shall we? Sorry, um, hold on, let me go ahead and show y'all. It says right there, too long of a number. So, and we're gonna redo this. Go back over here, execute compile and run. I am so sorry, my videos are always too freaking long. You know, I, I'm trying to do something about it, but to get detailed, you have to go all the way. Alright, now we're coming over back over here. We're gonna come over here so I can show you what this popped up. Sure enough, it said 1,100, or er, 1,049. Hoorah! So that's the basic of an array. Now I'm going to do one more. That's right. I know you're like, oh, dang, I thought he was done. But I'm going to show you how to make an easier array. Still getting harassed by my friend. All right. Now to make an array up here would basically be the same thing, but we're all going to do it in one line. So it saves us time. Now once we have how many values are going to be in here, which is three values, we're going to set it equal. We're going to put two squiggly brackets. Alrighty. Then here we're going to put 50, comma. That's right. It's a comma. I knew what it was now. 100, comma. 150, comma. Yeah. There you go. No. If, it, if you only have three, then no comma at the end. <laughs> Get it? No comma. <laughs> Whatever. You have bad jokes. Bad sense of humor. Now, we didn't edit anything else. But let me go ahead and pause the video. Okay, now, what I basically did, I just put a comment. This is 1, 2, and 3. Alright? But we don't have, we don't have 4, so we're going to put a 2 here. Alright, that's the only thing we change. Alright? Now we can compile and run this, and you can see what happens. That way y'all know what's up. So I'm going to just go ahead and run in this. And sure enough, it equals 250. Now let me go ahead and break it down like a fraction. Um, basically it's stating that there are three values in this array and the numbers still don't change on them. The comma basically makes it um, ba basically makes it a box, if you will. It's saying, hey, you know, th there's a comma here, so before the comma, whatever's in here is a box and that's the value. So after every comma or before every comma is a value. Now in this case, this is our last one, so we don't have a comma. Commas are only used for more data. But, if you don't have more data, you just put a basic uh, in squiggly bracket with a uh, semicolon. There you go. That's how to use the array function in C++. Uh, it's a tutorial for 
beginners number 10. Um, as I said in uh, my tutorial number 11, <laughs> um, I said I'm going to start doing more advanced stuff. So look forward to that. Right now I'm doing uh, Python programs. So I'm going to pump out uh, more C++ here later on. But thank you for watching CyberOx. As always, have a good day and God bless.